hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is quite interesting um it's regarding um the former governor of lagos state bola ahmed Tinubu, who is also the national leader of the all progressive congress apc we know anything that um, politicians anything they do there's always a reason behind it they have a motive they have um some um hidden agenda and then for Bola Tinubu, he's someone who is eyeing 2023 presidency. And so far, if we listen to talks from um, everywhere in the country, Bola Tinubu doesn't look like um, um, the preferred candidate. It doesn't look like someone who Nigerians are interested in ruling the country. And uh, to top it up, even from the West, from the Southwest, <laughs> that one is even a different case altogether because in the crisis that the southwest have experienced the fulani headsmen and farmer um clash bola tinubu um he decided to stand on his own he decided not to even interfere not to speak it was towards the end he started um, um giving suggestions to president muhammad buhari what to do but everyone already knows that he was only just doing all of that is just to play politics because when they when the it was really heated up at the initial stage bola tinubu did not speak he didn't speak he didn't say anything no words from him no support to what is going on what sunday Igboho is doing in the southwest so for the southwest um, i would say they've rejected Bolatinubu as well so right now what he's doing is that he's trying to um he's trying to get to the north to see how he can win them over ahead of the 2023 general elections he's just done something in castina state and very interesting and um all of that uh, it has been stated that um, is because of um, his 2023 ambition he's trying to water the ground he's trying to uh just uh, um set the, the the ground for himself come 2023 so that um he will he can still gather some support from there but we know the major thing right now the major concern is not even 2023 is this agitation that is right before our face the oduduwa republic and even biafra the division talks that has been going on these guys are not even um talking about that to me that should be the major thing that should be talked about to see how that will be settled because if it's not settled and uh, it leads to some form of a uh, um, um, crisis another sort of crisis there will be no 2023 election because we know that the constitution of INEC INEC has the right to suspend every election if uh, for some different reasons if there is a major pandemic if there is a, a um, war things like that they have the right to put off any election so these guys that are all planning projecting 2023 and there is an immediate crisis they don't want to pay attention to let all of them be planning but anyway let's see what Bolatinibu has done and if this can really give him a chance um, in the north if it will buy him a ticket or if it will be able to help him win the hearts of northerners to support him his own people have not supported him he's not than us anyway let's uh, get into the news we'll get all of the details shortly but before we do please don't forget to like share and to subscribe bola ahmed tinobu has got a new chance to sell his image this time in the north the former lagos state governor has to look stronger in the region if truly he wants to rule nigeria without the most populous region tinobu will only continue to dream Tinubu helped the Castina state governor with a donation of the tune of 50 million naira to be rebuild the bond market in the state. Tinubu's critics raised their eyebrows to condemn him for taking such a step. However, to his supporters and loyalists, it looks like a right one, no matter how it is being perceived. After the donation, Tinubu got one more chance to impress the Northerners and their leaders while he's still working towards getting the ticket of the All Progressive Congress. As reported by the Premier Times, an online tabloid, Tinubu will today chair the 11th annual lecture in the recognition of late Ahmad Belu, 
The lecture is organized by the Arawa House. The director of Arawa House, which is a research institute under Amadou Bello University Zara, Shaibu Aliyu, made the disclosure in Kaduna. He said the Plateau State Governor, Simon Lanlong, will be the guest speaker with the topic Governance and Youth Inclusion in Nigerian Development Post-COVID-19 Era. As the chairman of the occasion, Tinubu will be able to have another one to one meeting with many northern leaders, including many northern governors, most especially those elected on the platform of the All Progressive Congress. And when it is time for his speech, Tinubu will surely talk about the 2023 general elections. He can't just let the occasion go without projecting himself and what he's up to. Well, Tinubu has been playing um, a lot of games with this, his aspiration. The reason I say that is that up to now, Tinubu has not really come out openly to state or declare that um, he really wants to be president. But we know all of his moves, all of his complaints, the nagging here and there. We know all of them are pointed towards 2023. You know, different campaign groups have been spotted. Even a campaign office that was open in Abuja. All of them, Tinubu denied that he has no knowledge of all of them. But come to think of it, who is sponsoring those people? See, anyway, uh, this one that Tinubu has just done now, you know, the fire that broke out in the market in Castina, <laughs> Tinubu coughed out 50 million naira to help rebuild that market. Nothing goes for nothing. And um, also, um, it's been um, stated that um, he's going to be speaking in an, uh, in an annual lecture to mark the recognition of... Uh, of uh, uh of late um amadou Bello. and during that that time that's another opportunity you know he's going to be meeting with um, a lot of northern governors that time most of them elected under the platform of the all progressive congress it will be another time but i don't think tinubu will come out openly to say that um yes i want to run he will not show his intention right now tinubu is a very wise man you know all the times he's been asked about his um his um, intention in running for 2023 presidency is always stated that um, it's too early. That's what he has used, always used to get away with it. Then he will drop the uh, he will drop that disclaimer with Nigerians that politics can be uncertain. So even if I'm not interested, now don't get shocked or surprised if you see my flyer. He's just weighing the ground, seeing all the support he can get. Right now we know that um, with all the body language from the leadership, the current leadership of the party, that's the Ketika Committee and President Mohamed Buhari, and even the APC cabal, <laughs> there are cabals in there as well. They don't want uh, Tinubu, so maybe he will get the support from the North. That is why he's doing all of this that he's doing. He has told us that politics uh, it can be uncertain. Let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.